In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the recent updates made to the machine simulation module that comes built in to all Ike post processors. One of the changes recently added is the use of dogleg for the rotary axes. Previously, we only did dogleg for X, Y, and Z, but with the latest updates, we can now also include B and C axis. In this example, see the post has been modified to move directly in all five axes to the starting point from the home position. As we move, we see that it first hits the, the Z limit, then the Y, then the X, then eventually B and eventually C. And the line traced by it forms a pretty odd shape as their interpolation vector changes. Another feature that's been added is the ability to simulate tilted plane functions on the machine. In this example we have a tilting head which reorients the z-axis to the spindle. I have here the machine simulation as well as the tool relative simulation to show that. So when we move, our first call is in X, and you can see on the left that it's moving relative to the tool on an angle, and on the right, it's pure X motion. Then we move along Y, and finally in Z. Similar to showing coordinates in the tilted plane coordinate system, you can also show off coordinates in the TCP coordinate system. So one of the requests we often get with Trendy machines is to move X, Y, and then Z on the approach. I always recommend against it, and I'm going to show you why right now. You can see the part rotates. The coordinate system rotates with the part, which is sort of visualized on the right side. Now as we move, this is an XY call, and we can see that on the right hand view, that relative to the part, it's moving in X and Y. But on the machine, the tool is actually moving down. And then the Z call moves down along the walls of the part, which is the Z axis relative to the part. In addition to tracking the coordinate rotation, we also track the tool tip better in simulation. So here we have TCP move, where all five axes are moving, but the tool tip is remaining still. Now this is actually a tilted plane function. This is the move on a TNC. But you could do the same thing using G43.4, or even using a G53.6 on a FNUP controller. And the TCP improvements don't stop there. It's not just related to the approaches. If we look in at this part, posted with our old post, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. But when we zoom in, we can see there's some chattering going on here at some of these different points where our tool is very close to being vertical. If I post out the same operation with our new post, look in and you can see it's done a much better job of tracking the tooltip, just like the TCP would on the machine. 